Oh man, so it's like 1 a.m. right now and I have another one of those nights. I am feeling super energetic and I am like, I have to sleep right now. <laughs> I have to sleep because it's night and I have two appointments tomorrow and yeah, why can't I just sleep? But maybe it's because I have been sick and I'm still feeling not okay. I did a lot of sleeping the past few days so maybe my body is just like, yeah, well, fuck you. Like, do something, you lazy bitch. But um, yeah, that's what's going on right now, so oh, help. A few moments later. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> I wasn't able to sleep. It's like literally three minutes later than my previous clip. I have washed my hair today, but I haven't even combed it. So it's like very curly and stuff because I think naturally I have curly hair, as you can see. But when I comb it, it's just like, bloop, it's going straight. So I don't know about that. I saw a lot of those videos about like this curly method that you could boost up your natural curls. I really would like to do that sometimes, but maybe I should just focus first on getting out of this depression <laughs> before having crazy plans like that. But um, I wanted to talk about something and I can't remember what anymore. So let me think about it because I got out of bed. So yeah, I do not want to waste that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I remember. It's my fourth binge-free day. I noticed that I am feeling hungry all the time. Normally, like, when I'm in a binge mode, that's like, ugh, I feel hungry, I have to have, like, sweets and sugar and stuff. It has been a few days right now, and I noticed that my restricting side is just crawling back in again, and I'm getting used to the hunger. That's not a bad thing, I think, because if you want to lose weight, you have to have a little bit of hunger, etc. But... The thing I notice is that I enjoy feeling hungry as like a punishment for all the eating that I did the past few weeks, months. I also noticed... <coughs> still sick, guys. Still sick. I also notice that I am proud on like being hungry. I also notice that I am enjoying that really hard right now because I'm like already... What are you doing on my kitchen? You know you can be there. Yeah, but you always let me in. Okay, that's true, that's true. Yes, I also talk to my cats when I'm not filming. Trust me, I'm that crazy cat lady. He is so bad with his claws. Like, look at this. They're always stuck. He doesn't know how to control his nails. It's so hard to find a balance in like, I want to be happy that I am binge free for three days. But at the same time, it's also very hard to be proud because I know like, Am I eating enough? Am I eating still too much? Am I doing too little exercise? Am I... I do not trust my body anymore because I f***ed it up so many times, like losing weight, gaining weight, binging like crazy, not binging, but losing like super, super fast. I just don't know where this is going and I can't sleep and I'm thinking about those things and a lot of negativity going on also. So, um... Yeah. Thanks for listening to my midnight rant. I am going back to bed and I maybe I'm going to brush my hair first because meh. But um yeah. Bye guys. Ah, oh, you're so crumpy. Aw, little cuties. This is the saddest thing you will probably see today. <laughs> Look at this plant, it's totally ruined by my cats. This thing has like broke, it's just hanging here like yeah, whatever. <laughs> I just woke up, I had like five hours of sleep and ugh, I don't feel the greatest still, but um, that's okay. I'm just going to make some breakfast because I'm really, 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 really hungry <sighs> and out of breath even. Ugh. But um, yeah, let's make some breakfast. I'm just going to make my breakfast chick. I do have two appointments today, but I just asked like, can we have them like by online calling because I just, I'm too sick to go outside. For the rest of the day, I will just like edit and lay in bed and hopefully sleep a little bit but on the other side i don't want to sleep because like i had a lot of trouble with falling in sleep yesterday like past night and i don't want to sleep during the day and then have trouble with sleeping next night again if i'm going to sleep it will be like one hour or something but um yeah So right now I'm sitting on my toilet. I know too much information, but I have this thing in my toilet that's like coming from the roof because I'm on the top floor of this apartment and you can hear all the rain like streaming down from the roof in that like thing that they made and then going downstairs. So listen to that. 
Wow, it rains like quite hard and it's really storming like it's very windy and I keep hearing these like big <laughs> sounds and I don't know what it is. It isn't thunder, but um, I don't know. Something is like making a big noise. And look at my cute sign. <laughs> my cute sign that's hanging in my toilet. You know the drill by now, <laughs> but this is my breakfast. Hey guys, so I just had my appointment. I still have another appointment in one hour and 15 minutes. I am bench free since Saturday. Today it's Wednesday, so this will be my fourth day. I have the feeling that it clicked again and that I'm starting this new cycle of like not binging again. And I am very happy about that, but I'm also very... Not anxious, but... Wary? I think that's the word, wary. I hope this will be okay. Like, I talked with my professionals. So he said, what's your priority? And I was like, yeah, for now I do want to lose weight because... <sighs> I have showered, okay, yesterday. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel disgusting. Everyone has his own way of like losing weight, eating healthy, doing things. Like for one person, keto works. For one person, not dieting works. Uh, just intuitive eating works. And it's so important to find something that works for you. Because you are the one who has to live through that meal plan. Uh, for myself, I've never been on a like super strict diet. I always just start eating healthy, eating less moving more. That's just it. Like, very, very simple. <sighs> yeah, he's... Uh, I don't want to talk about this. This is so stupid. <laughs> I'm going to give you a summary. We just made a few... Agreements. Yeah, agreements. That's the word. I want to lose weight until I weigh 120 kilos. I gained, like, 20 kilos back. So I'm at around... 160 give or take i want to lose weight until i weigh 120 kilos that was my previous plan also but the jump was too big because i came from 185 i lost weight up until 137 and um yeah my goal is to lose 40 kilos they say like yeah but i think that's a really good idea losing weight you have to make that your priority my restrictive side is like really really happy right now because he's like oh I like that because I can lose like five kilos a month and that will take me like four months to undo the damage that I did previous three months or whatever. And I know that I will be feeling better again and I will be more active, etc. On the other side, I know that I am going to focus too much on losing weight and that's like in the end, like in six, seven or eight months that will be triggering my binge side again. So I said like, I want to lose weight until 120 kilos, but after that, I want to stop losing weight i want to maintain weight because i've never in my life maintained weight i don't want to maintain on this weight because i just feel ugh, like 160 kilos that's like that's a lot i can do everything no i can't do everything i can't ride a roller coaster but i can do most things but just everything is a little bit harder and i just i hate it i have been 20 kilos lighter like only three months back so I want to be on that weight again and then some more. I have these professionals and they helped me. They said, it's okay. We think that's the best thing too. I also said like, if I really continue to break this circle and be binge free for like 10 days, then I start like pulling up my walls because then everything will be great again. I will be feeling fine. We made this agreement that when that happens, they are going to poke through my barriers to just still try to make those emotions come out but prevent me from binging and i don't know when i just i'm talking about this it feels like stupid i am going to continue losing weight i know that it will cause me to binge I know that it won't be like instant binging. It will build up for months before I fall back into another binge episode. But at least the coming four or five months, I want to lose weight. I want to feel more positive, especially now that the winter is here. And after that, I really, 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 really want to focus like, okay, 120 kilos, that's fine. Like, oh my God, if I see people, especially women who weigh like 120 kilos, I'm like, oh my God. They're so pretty. 
okay, I might have a thing for curvy women myself, but when I am around 120 kilos, that will be my, like, I don't know. I am not saying that I won't lose more weight, because I don't know how I feel at that weight, but I have been on that weight, and if I look back at pictures from that weight, I am like, oh my god, I want to go back to that, because I am still, like, squishy, and I'm still me. 120 kilos is my goal, and I notice that it even makes me happy to think about it, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, if I'm going to lose weight after that goal, I don't know, like, goals change, priorities change, I don't know. But first, I am going to reach that point. I think that's doable before the next binge relapse starts in, um, based on my history with binging and not binging and binging relapse. Sis. That's my plan for now. And some of you might not agree, I know, but this is also part of my journey. And if I fail, I will fail. If I succeed, I will succeed. But also when I succeed, that doesn't mean that you have to do the same thing. Because like I said, it's so important that you find your own way of doing things because you are the one who has to live through every day and you are the one who has to make the choices every day so do what works for you and if other people tell you like oh you suck and you can't do that like intermittent fasting like seriously that's like so stupid and it's bad for this it's bad for that or whatever if it works for you it works for you and if it stops working for you then go find something else and also you know sometimes we also have to make our own mistakes like mistakes that people are seeing from miles away but Sometimes you have to make your own mistakes to really, really, really understand like Okay, so now I've been through it and now I can really accept that Intermittent fasting or keto or eating bread or eating a lot of fats is not a way to go for me So yeah, in conclusion You do you I had my conversation, I'm going to do me <laughs> And um, we'll see where it brings me I don't know if I'm going to fail, I don't know if I'm going to succeed I'm just happy that I'm not gaining anymore and ugh, but it has been three days guys like I don't have enough self-trust to just go with this so so let's you're looking at me so judgy why are you looking at me that judgy oh my god look at this he's like F you what are you talking to the camera what are you doing you weirdo <laughs> I'm going to get up off the floor because ouch and um, I'm going to continue being sick yay and I'll talk to you later, guys. Like, seriously, I don't know how you put up with me. <laughs> Sui, I'm going to fat shame you. <laughs> you are the cutest fat cat I've ever seen. <laughs> like, look at that. It's like hanging over this side. It's, it's, <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> By the way, me singing with a sore throat, that's so funny. I don't know why. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, listen. <clears throat> I was running far away, would I run off the world someday? Nobody knows, nobody know, knows, and <clears throat> I don't know why it's funny. I think it's so funny. Right here I'm making lunch. This is like a sandwich. It's cheese, an egg, a hard-boiled egg, and um, some tomatoes. Oh, I wish that I had some rucola or lettuce to put on here just for some extra crunch. I love this ripened type of cheese, but I don't eat it that often, just every now and then to treat myself. Because I haven't treated myself enough the past few months, like... <sighs> but you know what I mean. Ugh, I forgot like 30 grams of cheese. I used that on this sandwich, but this contains like two slices of bread and this is only one slice of bread. 615 calories, that's quite a lot. I was seriously considering just throwing a lot of cheese back. F*** it, I'm just going to eat this and um... Hashtag don't be too harsh on yourself. So I was just eating my lunch and I didn't taste a thing. No, I'm lying. Like I did taste the salt, but that was it. Like the egg wasn't there. Cheese didn't taste it. Okay, so this is shit quality, but I just wanted to show you like when my cat wants food, I always do this with him. Oja, thank you. Okay, food. <laughs> I am going to make some noodles really quick. I just got stuck in like um, entering YouTube comments. I had breakfast and I was like, hmm, I'm not tasting any banana right here. And normally that tastes, oh, I need to pee. Why didn't I pee? <laughs> also my lunch, I just, I didn't taste much. I tasted some salt, but that was it. So I made an appointment to let myself be checked to see if that's COVID because like it had me worried like, hmm. So um, yeah, just to be sure. So I did taste some... I did taste some of like the sauce that I'm going to put with my noodles and um, yeah, it tasted 
mm, not that tasteful. It just tasted like nothing. So um, that makes me a little bit upset because I'm not even able to taste the chicken that uh, died to be on my plate. But I just have to eat something and this is leftover already. So something's exploding. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's just, that's a conscious thought that I'm having. Like mm, I can enjoy the chicken like normally. That's something that bothers me a little bit. But um, yeah. I'm going to eat and um, wish me luck. I am still, I am very glad still that I do like taste, I, I enjoy the texture of, of food right now. So that's a good thing. This is what I'm eating for dinner. 